while I've got your attention and their attention, hit the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, share the videos, help your friends enjoy this too. Hey everyone. You're probably wondering what we're doing. Well, a lot of the world's quarantined. Um, unfortunately, I'm not, and I still have to go to work. So what I'm doing today is putting a fence up to keep the coronavirus out. And uh, I'm just kidding. We're actually making a corral. So most corrals are made out of, well, I guess the best way to describe them is like panels. And they're set in place and you know you can move them and everything. Well, I'm not gonna spend that much money on panels because it would cost way too much. I have some extra fencing and uh, what we're gonna do is, as you can see actually, we have set fence posts about a foot and well close to a foot and a half away from an existing fence and then we'll get this little monkey right here what's up dude oh thanks pal well, that's pretty cool service with a smile thanks buddy hey did you wash your hands what? did you wash your hands before you gave me this <laughs> anyways the uh, fencing itself is going to be exactly like this. The only difference is it's going to be a, a foot over. This one is kind of loose just because the way we designed it, we didn't pull them very tight. We're not really, our sheep don't really try to get out because most of the time they have more than enough. They're actually rotated before the grass is ever really eaten down far enough because they reach that five day limit first. So what we're going to do is make another one right here and the fencing will go straight through here come off of here and then it'll go at an angle it's over there where we'll put a gate and so we'll end up putting our whole flock sorry being a fatty trying to eat and talk we'll put a gate down here and that gate you know essentially once we put them all in there we'll just close that gate and we'll latch it they'll all have to get pushed through here and they'll go up there and we're going to put our chute up here. Now we don't have a uh, very new chute. It's old and it's made in, and it's made out of galvanized metal. Now galvanized metal doesn't rust quick, but it does rust. We don't want to leave it out here. So we'll set it up here and when we're using it, we'll be set up and then when we're done with it, we'll just take it and put it back in the barn. Keep it in better working condition that way. So, tag along and enjoy the uh Enjoy the show. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of mistakes made. I have to redo stuff three or four times. It happens a lot. So when we took the fence down that was right here back in spring, or spring, back in winter, we took one down there. Now we're gonna take these posts out, we're gonna reuse them because they're not old. So real quick, on our fencing, you can there's options you have. So you could do a uh, diagonal brace. So like if I was at an end, for instance, I might do an, a diagonal brace from the top of the post that's at the end to the bottom of the post that I'm pulling the fence towards. Because this is going to naturally want to pull, just like you see it moving a little bit probably whenever I pull on it. When you put an H in here, it'll help. It'll make it to where it's a little more sturdy but a diagonal from the top of the outside post to the bottom of the post you're pulling towards is gonna be your strongest method. Um, we're not doing that because this fence is not being pulled quite that tight and we're not as concerned because the animals in here are not gonna be, uh, 
they're going to be pushed in one direction and they're not really going to be uh, able to escape because they're going to be in here next to each other so they can't uh, uh, I don't have the words to say it but they're not it's not as big of a concern here we're still going to pull it tight we're still going to make sure it's good fencing but we're not going to go as far in depth because if I was doing this out in my pasture where I'm worried about other animals getting in for instance I would actually go from the top of this post to the bottom of that post and then from the bottom of that post up to the top of this post and that would make it to where it's very strong as far as pulling but then I make a weak point right here because the curve is coming around here and going back that way so naturally whenever I pull that fence tight it's actually gonna pull this post to the inside so just trying to give a little insight on what we're doing now is this the only way no is it a way absolutely um, it's the way that works for us and it works pretty well So you're probably wondering what this is. This is how we pull our fence. So we use these two by sixes. We sandwich them together with screws. And then I'll take the winch cable from that, tie it to this, and I'll pull. Now, when you do that, when you attach the winch cable, if you attach it really high, it's gonna pull the top of your fence very tight, but then the bottom's gonna be loose. Same thing if you put it on the bottom, it'll pull the bottom really tight, but then the top's really loose. Now, the tricky part is, is that the direct middle doesn't always mean that it's going to get everything even. Um, a lot of times what we found is, so the middle, which would be this square, we usually go one, squ one square below what the middle is. And that seems to get our fence tight on the top and the bottom. So you'll see that here shortly. Um, let me get the nails or the staples in on the other end on the wood posts. That's how we attach them. And then... Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll get the uh, fence and I'll pull it tight and you'll see what I'm talking about. Christine, the kids came out. We, uh, we're just taking the the sandwich, the two by sixes apart, so we can cut our fence. I like to leave it on the roll until we get to the end. Stretch it tight because otherwise you'll have a bunch of two foot sections that you end up pulling tight and having little pieces laying around. The good news is if you lose a screw. The tires always find them. Way better than magnets. There might be that one that's... Oh, there you go. Right. That's all it's going to do because it's okay. stuck in the board. And we can just throw that in the side by side. I'll cut this real quick. So I wanted to show you this, so I won't cut beyond, I'll cut this right here. I'm going to leave it on the fence because I want, I don't want a bunch of sharp edges for me to either drive by or walk by and catch my shirt or my skin or anything like that. So we cut it as close to those uh, verticals as we can. That top one is pretty thick, but it's doable. That's appreciated too. If she wasn't holding it, basically whenever I got to the bottom, it would try to go back to the roll right here and it would attack me. So the other thing is, is that when we, so if I were to attach this to another roll, I have this left over and I basically overlap one square and then I take these and I wrap them around the verticals. I'll show you, don't worry, we'll be splicing the fence here shortly. So, you'll see that in a future video. Okay. Really ah, yes, it's there. Okay. 
<clears throat> okay. So now we'll throw that back in the lean-to and we'll have some extra. Oh, I'm gonna wind that up too. Better do that before I forget. But this is how, uh, so reuse fencing is a lot harder. So we took this fencing down a few videos back. This is a lot harder to reuse though because some of it's got bends in it and stuff like that. Not impossible, just difficult. But basically this will be like a little uh, corral right here and then we'll push them through there and then I'll put a, uh, um, oh, like a sliding door or something there so that once I push them in there, they can't go backwards, they have to go forward. So, and then the other thing you can do is you can just have a person walk behind them to push them up there. They're gonna, they're gonna run or you can use a bucket and guide them, all kinds of options. So we'll uh we'll let you guys know how it works the good news is if it doesn't work we can take all the t-posts and the uh wooden posts out and take all the fencing down and we can use it somewhere else other than that that's gonna be it for this video so thank you guys for watching and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel have a blessed week